What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. Hope you're having an amazing day. We are looking at NEO today in this video. We are sitting here just over $50 as we speak and NEO on tip ranks a 10 out of 10. So a perfect score on the smart score scale, which is quite interesting. Now we do want to talk about tip ranks investors. That is what is the, in terms of negative sentiment um, for NEO, at least based on all these factors they are throwing at us right now. That's one of the biggest things that is potentially, you know, negative on the stock, which we'll talk about here in just one second. So I do want to point out a couple of key things right now, market cap 82.4 billion next earnings coming out in late September. Uh, in terms of analyst price targets, this is a very, very strong stock in terms of um, just looking at analysts. So we look at top analysts right now, we are looking at a average right here of 64.25 in terms of a price target which would be over 25% upside. We got Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America. We got a lot of the top um, analyst firms right here and those all coming out in the past couple of months, which would indicate some significant upside from the current levels. We also recently got access to their June delivery numbers and some of these price targets, at least the Citigroup target actually came out post that. So that factored those numbers into account, which would give Pretty substantial upside from the current levels. What I do also want to point your attention to is this investors tab. I think it's actually kind of cool to look at. So take a look at some NEO investors. If we go to all investors on the tip ranks platform, 6.4% of all portfolios hold NEO and about 18% of the holdings in a given portfolio would be NEO. Okay. And that's across all investors. That's over 400,000 portfolios, which is cool to look at. Now, if you go to top investors, this is about 88,000 portfolios. 6% of all portfolios have NEO, which compares slightly less to all investors. And what I think is interesting is that they have a little bit less NEO. Now, I think on a risk management front, 10%, right? You're not risking as much in, in one given stock. So that kind of makes sense from the top investor standpoint. Also, last seven days, uh, we have a decrease in portfolios holding NEO and the last 30 increase. If you go to the all investors, you'll actually see the opposite. You'll see a decrease in the last 30 days and an increase in the last seven. I think that's also very, very telling. What is the smart money doing? What are the top investors doing the last couple of days? Well, after NEO made a pretty substantial push, they may have been trimming their portfolios a little bit. Taking some out as NEO has pushed up towards resistance at $55, which is a great segue into our kind of analysis here on NEO, our technical analysis here. So it hit up to 55, and in the meantime, this may be a better buying opportunity as some investors may see it as an opportunity to buy lower if they were able to sell in the past couple of days up towards that 55 level. Neo pulls back, could offer a little of a better buying opportunity for someone who is, you know, a little more active in their own investments and trading. Again, that's not something for most people, but for someone who may be more active, well, that's kind of what you're seeing right there. So in terms of support, we have some support here down towards $46. Resistance at 55 would need to see Neo get over 55 and then hold that as new support for Neo to continue to the upside. After that, targeting up towards 60 plus would be our look here for NEO. I think it's only a matter of time at this point. Again, a pretty substantial move in the past two months. So a pullback and a consolidation would not be a bad thing before the next leg up with NEO here. I think we're getting past the chip shortage, we're getting past and we're seeing you know markets forward looking and we're looking beyond that, at least as of right now. Saw some scares past couple of months, but that seemingly is behind a lot of investors. Now, again, if the market pulls back, if tech pulls back, a lot of Chinese you know, stock pull back, wouldn't be surprised if NEO does take a pullback and we see down towards that 46, even 45. Below that, wouldn't be surprised if we see down towards 43. That would be another area to watch as it was a prior high back here at the end of April. So there you guys have it. That's our update on NEO. Again, we'll leave links down below to the Tip Ranks platform. You get access to all of this information and much, much more, especially researching tools, news, and all that stuff. We use the ultimate platform here on the channel. Link will be down in the pinned comment and description box, as well as a link to get access to Webull. Webull is doing a new promotion right now where you only have to deposit $5 to get two free stock. So no more depositing 100 bucks to get that second free stock. Sign up, get a free stock, deposit five bucks, get another free stock in the process. That's actually gonna end in about a month or so. So take advantage of that. And there's also other links and resources to our other channels. Other aspects you can take a peek at if you like the content here. Good chance you like the content on our other channels linked in the description box below. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.